Berries are one of the most useful items in the game from needing to give them to your Pokemon to hold for VGC victories or to EV training, removing EVs from your Pokemon using certain berries and such. And I'm going to show you how to get unlimited berries. There's an incredible berry farming method in this game and it's so easy. You're going to be able to stack up on all the different berries that you want really quickly. Let's have a look. So I don't usually do this, but I'm going to request if you guys do enjoy this video, drop a sub and leave a like because why not? I mean, you're going to be able to see more videos come up in your recommendations. If you do, it's super handy for you. So let's get into the berry guide here, guys. This is going to require you have access to area zero, and you're going to be able to do this either at any point when you have access to area zero anyway. So we're going to go down to area zero here. Let's travel to area zero. Area zero gate. And I'm going to show you where to go for this. Now, there's a nice little pool area in this place that just spawns glint items everywhere. And they're all berries. And then you'll be able to respawn them. I'm going to show you real quick here. So let's go into here. This is just the entrance to the gates. The only way in, sadly, you cannot glitch in. Not yet. Okay, I always got to say yet because who knows what we'll discover tomorrow. <laughs> anyway, research station number one. Let's go there. And from research station number one, we'll be able to make our way to the area in question where we're going to be doing our farming. Super useful, super convenient for everybody. So once we exit this room, now loading, <laughs> okay. Turning right, right out the edge exit, we go up here, up this hill. Just climb up here, if you can climb. Okay, yeah, hurry up. <laughs> it's a little clunky, I mean, this is the game. We'll turn left up at the top here, and we're gonna go over here and climb up the waterfall area. So you can see a waterfall ahead. Avoid that pit, because that's a long way down. That is a long way down. And there is something down there. <laughs> we're gonna climb up here, on top of the waterfall area. If you can climb up here. You can climb up the waterfall, perfect. So in here is the pool area that we're talking about. Right in here. So sometimes you will have a chance to spawn one of the rare, uh, your game's rarest uh, paradox form in here. So that's cool. But also, you'll also have loads and loads of glint items. So when you arrive at first, sometimes you may see the glint items. Sometimes you may see nothing, like my case right now. That's easily rectified, guys. We're going to go ahead and hit X and save the game. And then we're going to close the game and reset it. And this is basically what you're going to do each time. So uh, it will happen for many people that the glint items won't be there when you first arrive. That's totally fine. Sometimes they will be and you can just start collecting straight away. But they weren't for my case. So I'm just showing you how to fix this issue. So once we reset the game and turn it back on, all the glint items will be back. And you'll see there's a lot. And they're all berries. All of them. So we're going to start collecting them here. Once the game finishes loading... <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Get on our mount. And there's a glint item right in front of me. And it's a citrus berry. First time picking that up. This next one is apricot berry. You can ride around. Just spam A on all the glints. Actually, good tip is if you hit A at the right timing, you don't have to stop. You just pick it up. Duskstone. Okay. Citrus berry. So Duskstone, I was a bit surprised there. I'm pretty sure these were all uh, berries. But either way, they're almost all berries. Peachy fair, apricot berry. Citrus berry. So you can see we're getting a lot of berries here anyway. You can ride around. You can guys can set your route and just farm berries for days. Now these don't stay the same berries. The glint items that are giving you berries now will give you different berries each time. I mean, sometimes you might get a chance at the same one, but you can see I'm getting a lot of citrus berries here, but there's a good mix of berries from this. I don't know why they're all citrus. I'm getting unlucky. We'll do it one more time anyway. I'm going to show you guys the reset and all that as well. So, uh, we got mega citrus berries here. <laughs> there's uh, some Pichu fur. Not really what I'm looking for. But I'm pretty sure there's a couple of more glint items around that I have not picked up yet. You guys can fine tooth comb the whole area and get what you need. There's a nice new one, Salic Berry. So, we have gotten a couple of berries that I've never even picked up before. Once you finish your run, guys, go ahead, hit X, save your game. You've already collected your berries. You're now saving that in, so you've locked it in. No risk at all. And go ahead and close the game. Just like that. Then go down to your system settings, go down to system, date and time, and move your thing up a day. Move your clock up one day, and then open up your game once again. 
And upon reloading your game, all the glint items will be back. All the glint items are changed. So these glint items, the way they work is they have a category. They have a list of items that they can be. And in this particular area, most of those items that we picked up were all berries and they stay berries, but they don't stay the same berry. So you'll be able to get loads of different berries doing this. After a few turns, you'll have your entire collection of berries. You'll have multiple of them. This is perfect for training your EVs, like getting rid of the wrong EVs and things like that. And just having the berries for the sake of whatever their use is. So as you can see, we spawn right on a new glint item. It's peach you fur. It's not what I want. But either way, we'll go for this one. Citrus berry. Okay, let's just go through our run again and find all the glint items in the area. Shiny stone. So yeah, you know, they're not all all berries. I thought they were. But there's another night. Petea berry. There's a citrus berry. And you just go through the motion as many times as you want. Apricot berry. That's good. So good. Some variety in here. Okay, there's a lot of citrus berries still. That's interesting. Uh, dusk stone. You know. Shiny stones. So a couple of stones as well. You can actually sell them for a little bit of extra money too. Keep that in mind. And a Ganlon berry. A brand new berry I haven't picked up before. So yeah, you do get a crazy good variety in here as well. And some more citrus berries. And Okay, there's, yeah, citrus berries is obviously going to be the common one. But you get some of the rare berries too. And that's the important part. And you can do this as many times as you want. It only takes a second as well, as you just saw me. So as you saw me pick up a couple of different rare berries, after a couple of runs, you will have every single berry that there is. I don't know if I actually have every single one. There's so many. But there's some of the new ones that we picked up. The Salak berry, the Ganlon berry. And I have one of each there. And lychee berry like this you just keep getting them so you can repeat this as many times as you want and you'll be stacked 19 citrus berries 17 pomic berries kel kelpsies so you'll be absolutely good to go on evs ivs the perfect berry farm area is right here so that's gonna be it for your berry farming needs. You won't need anything else. I think this will sort you out on the berry front. Uh, yeah, you'll seem to get like a lot of citrus berries, but you'll also get lots of all of the other rare ones too. Uh, very, it varies a lot wildly. Each time you change it, you're gonna have a different experience. So it's gonna be super helpful for building their berry stockpiles. Hopefully you found it useful. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Drop a like and sub if you did. I'll see you around in the next video. Till then, bye.